Okay, friends. Uh, the first thing in this video, I'm going to add uh, PG black here. So for that, let's open the VS Code and inside the views, we have this app. And on the body, I'm going to add a BG black. So let's say on dark mode, the BG is going to be black like this. And now, yeah, we have black or we can change the maybe something like BG slate 900. And I think we are okay. Now let's close this. And what I want to do is, so let's ask, I am registered with a new user. For that, we don't have that, uh, what is Laravel? So let's ask again, what is Laravel? Today's video is brought to you by Cloudways, a managed cloud hosting platform for PHP based applications. So we have WordPress, Magento, Laravel and PHP. Cloudways takes over all server management and security hassles to let you solely focus on your business. Their custom stack provides performance boost, managed backups that keep your app safe and a staging environment that lets you test code without breaking live sites. Plus, pre-configured Composer and integrated GI make deployments a breeze and you get a choice between five top cloud providers including DigitalOcean, Vulter, Linode, WSL and GCI. With Cloudways, you not only get flexibility but peace of mind. So if you are an agency or an e-commerce store owner, Cloudways is a great fit for all your managed hosting requirements. Don't forget to use promo code link in description. And now if I hit enter, we can write again. I don't want to do that. So if we hit enter, I want to disable this one. And also I want to show that loading here. So for that, let's open the VS code and on the chat index, uh, let's see, uh, here we have the input and I'm going to say bind disabled if we have the form dot processing. Okay, then we have this div with a SVG, which is uh, this SVG here, but if, if I hit enter, I don't want to show that, I want to show the that uh, loading. So for that, what I'm going to do here is a template. I'm going to save style and inside here, I'm going to paste a class dot typing and you can find this classes here, or you can go to the GitHub repository. Also I'm going to add here uh, keyframes. for the dot typing. And now what I want to do is after the SVG, because here we have flex, absolute, inset, wide, and so on. After the SVG, I want to display that div. So let's say div with the class dot typing like this. And I'm going to give it a margin left of uh, 10 minus margin left, 10 negative margin left. And let's close this div, but this div now, if I save and let's see, yeah, as you can see here it is. I want to show only if uh, we hit the enter, if we sit, submit the input. So for that, we can say, the if if we have form dot processing and now we don't see but if i say for example what is laravel uh, what is uh, vue.js and hit enter yeah we have both of them so for that we need to also hide this if we have the form processing. So we can say V if 
if we don't have for dot processing and now if I save and come here and you know what we have here what is Vue.js and here what is Laravel as you can see so we can navigate through them but if we are here and send this request I want also to be in this history so for that let's uh, scroll up to the chat index and here when we send the chat I'm going to create a constant and let's say a uh, URL or yeah URL which is going to be evil with if we have props dot chat if we have that I want to make this URL to be slash chat slash and now here I'm going to add the props dot chat dot ID okay otherwise it's going just to be slash chat and I think we are okay now let's use this URL here so let's say URL and if I save let's go here and yeah we have this here what is Laravel and also let's say now what is Django and hit enter yeah now we show only that one and if this is disabled so wait for the response and yeah we are here in this uh, chat very good now let's say also what is uh, react just to show you something and hit enter very good Yeah, now as you can see we have the react but is under this one so for that let's open the VS code and if we have that side then we have this for the template and I'm going to say here when we have the width full overflow auto I'm going to add also the padding bottom to be uh, 36 and yeah now when we scroll here we are okay but if I refresh as you can see we need to scroll so I want when I refresh I want to directly go down scroll to the bottom and also when we make a new request the same thing so let's work with that the first thing I'm going to do here I'm going to create two props uh, two constants so let's see create a constant for let's say prompt input which is going to be ref so let's need to import the ref from view which is going to be initially null and the same Let's create a constant for the chat container. And we'll just say like this, which is going to be also this one ref null. Let's import the ref from view. So let's say import ref from view here. And now let's scroll down when we have that this is for the form on the input now I'm going to add a ref for the prompt input like this and also on this uh, on here I'm going to say add a ref which is going to be chat container and now let's scroll up and here we need to create some methods so I'm going to create first the constant and say scroll the bottom 
like this, which is going to be an arrow function. And here I'm going to get the element from the chat container dot value. Okay, and then I'm going to say element dot scroll top is going to be equal with element dot scroll eight scroll eight eight like this and now it's going to be on the bottom and I want also to unmount it so let's say on mounted I want to call that so just let's say something like this and say scroll the bottom or better let's create another method here so I'm going to create another method const clear and also this one is going to be an arrow function and let's say here first I'm going to clean the prompt form dot prompt which is going to be equal with an empty string then I'm going to say prompt dot input dot value and I'm going to say here focus I'm going to add a focus to the prompt input value and then I'm going to call here scroll the bottom and unmount it just call this clear now so let's say clear and if I save like this and open and why we have an error let's see on the source yeah an amount that is not defined and just let me zoom it at this for you so we have here on mount that is not defined let's close and let's define the unmounted so here when we have imported the ref we need to import also the unmounted and save and as you can see if i refresh we directly scroll to the bottom okay that's it what we want next also when we send the form where we are here on the yeah on this URL here I want to call that clear so I'm going to add an option here so on finish when we finish I'm going to say clear like this and now let's uh, let's save this and let's make just one more random uh, ask here so let's say just test and I'm going to hit enter and let's just scroll this like this test hit enter and yeah we have the loading and we scroll directly down okay friends and I think we are good now so we can navigate through what here we are in the what is Laravel yeah this is and if I go here what is Vue.js and also now I want to show the button to create a new one because as you can see so let's open the VS code and on the side we have here the li let's add another link so I'm going to copy this and paste it up here now this link is going to be visible only the if we have a chat okay and this is going to go to the shref or like this just chat because it's going to be for the new chat and here we are going to say new chat like this and hit save and as you can see here is the new chat but maybe I'm going to change the color and also so here we have the link and instead of text slate I'm going to say 
text to be green and the BG is late 900 okay let's leave it as it is just text is going to be green and why we had not have that text green for hand yeah green like this and save and as you can see now we have uh, yeah because we made this inside the v inside the template so let's cut and move it up here okay uh, one more thing let's add here an svg so let's uh, navigate to the arrow icons arrow icons.com and i'm going to search for just plus yeah here we have and let's copy this and let's navigate after the link we have here flex yes so let's paste that and save now if i open come here yeah we have chat like this link and i'm going to give it a class to be class to be uh, with bold and let's save this come here and refresh and now yeah if i click here we navigate but we are here on the empty but if i click here uh yeah we have an error i think go to the console and cannot read properties of no rating scroll ah yeah here on the now let's close the side and here when we check for l container first we need so let's cut and check if we have a chat props.chat so let's say uh, props dot chat and if we have the chat then we are going to scroll to the bottom let's save and let's come here and refresh let's go to the new good now let's go to the view what is there yeah now it's okay and we don't have that error i think let's go come here go to the console yeah we don't have that error okay friends the one more thing i'm going to add a skeleton here when we make a request so let's navigate to the flowbyte.com and you can find skeletons here so if i search for skeleton here it is so just go and copy and paste it in the or let's create a new component for that let's create here inside the components i'm going to create a new one let's say uh, just skeleton dot view and this one is going to have only the template and inside paste the skeleton what you like save close this and let's scroll down now so i'm going to close that and here when we have the template after the template i'm going to say skeleton and this one is going to so let's say v show is going to show only if we have form dot processing from form processing and let's set close we need to import the skeleton up here so let's import that For the skeleton from add slash components slash skeleton like this it's save and now let's test this feature as well just test and hit enter and now we have that skeleton here and also the three dots okay friends that's it about this video i hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much